CM Ty Patron. Ty comes before you this morning to solicit your help in returning the civility of America to what it was when his 99-year-old mother was your age. To deliver a speech titled, What's Right is Right and What's Wrong is Wrong, help me welcome ATM Ty Patton. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Good morning, Toastmasters. A few weeks ago, I came in and I gave you a book report about a program that I helped to facilitate called The Peacemaker. And number one in removing stress and conflict in your life is to overlook it. Just overlook it. As we heard this morning from Mark Shear, some situations cannot be overlooked. My 99-year-old mother has all the charm and charisma that I wish I had. But I, I still have some time to learn from her because she's not going anywhere. She is spicy. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, she wants to know what happened to her America. Her America. Think about that. She's been around for almost a hundred years. The history that she's seen, the changes that she's witnessed. It just incredible. You know, Martin Luther King said, very stupid, injustice anywhere leads to injustice everywhere. You know, if anyone is under injustice, it's a strike at all of our hearts. And we need to stand up. This past week, um, not this past week, a couple weeks ago, I don't know if you heard about the story about the lady who was attacked on SEPTA, stands for South, excuse me, um, Southeast Pennsylvania Transit Authority. This woman was attacked. And it went on for almost 40 minutes. This woman felt that transit train start up and then come to a stop. Start up and then come to a stop. 27 times. There were nearly 10 people on that train that did not, did not do a thing to stop this attack this violent attack. No, let's not sugarcoat it. It was rape. It was rape, ladies and gentlemen. And I dare say, and I'm sorry to say, that there are people in this room, men and women both, who have been subjected to violent rape. This woman is going to live with that for the rest of her life. Can you imagine Catherine Mosher Boulay, can you imagine 40 minutes of being attacked and knowing that there are people there on the train, some of them turned away, others of them pulled out their phone, not to call 911, but to take pictures and video of it. What, where's our society when we allow things like this to go on? Now, I understand here. I was in Vietnam, and believe me, I faced a lot of fear, and and it can be paralyzing. I mean, it can just stop you in your tracks. So I can understand that perhaps if, if there's a small person or if they're just not outspoken, that they're timid, that they may not pull out their phone and call while that person is in hearing shot. But I cannot understand a person getting off of that train and going about their life as if nothing happened, especially if they were one that took photographs and video. The police were finally called. It took them three minutes to respond. Can you imagine what's gonna go through that woman's head for the rest of her life? Three minutes to respond. Her 40 minutes of terror could have been ceased in three minutes. 
the horrific emotions, the roller coaster that she can go up and down. Because psychologists tell us that most rape victims blame themselves. Was it something that I wore? Did I flaunt myself? Did I welcome this in any way, shape, or form? These questions go through their head. And I dare to say that should it be Mark Shearer's daughters or Jordan Kamaker's wife, it could be any of our, our family members. And it isn't age specific. We've heard of people, women that are in their 80s and 90s being raped. What's the worst of it, I believe, is that this was an illegal alien. You can call them whatever you want. I call them illegal aliens. This, this guy was in this country illegally. He had come in on an education visa and he overstayed and just never left. And in, in addition to that, this guy had been in jail for sexual assault previously. And he had, he had a deportation warrant that a judge all fit to withdraw because that judge did not think that the sexual crime that he had pre presented previously, there wasn't of any consequence. I'm sure that that victim would definitely disagree. But you know, we are Americans and we live in the greatest country this world has ever seen, regardless of what some people may try to convince us. I've been through 73 years of it, and I can tell you, the successes that I've had, I could not have in other countries, because they just don't let people like me succeed. In all seriousness, we can stop this. We have got to, each one of us, when we hear about these horrific crimes, we need to contact our elected officials swamp their, their offices with phone calls. If it's the, the district attorney, if it's the, the governor, if it's the police department, whoever it is in that jurisdiction, whoever, whoever oversees it, we need to contact them and flood their offices with phone calls so that they just never cease to stop listening to us. Fellow Toastmasters.